Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title, today is another bottle service video. I love doing bottle service videos. These are probably like my favorite videos to do. So today I'm gonna to be answering your guys' questions. I'm gonna be answering a bunch of bottle service questions. So if you guys are interested in hearing me answer all of these questions, please keep on watching. But before we get into the video, guys, you already know what I'm gonna ask you. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give the video a like, turn your post notifications on, add me on TikTok, add me on Instagram, especially because I'm always on Instagram when I'm at the club. I'm always posting everything so you guys can stay up to date with me there so add me on Instagram and let's get into the video if someone grabs you slash harasses you are you allowed to call them out or do you have to be professional and just walk away I feel like I would start cursing them out girl you definitely are allowed to call them out and you don't have to be professional and walk away absolutely not because that is not acceptable like you 100 percent have to call them out you tell security and security has to kick them out like asap like asap if your club is not kicking that person out after they grab you that's not a club you want to work at like that's not a club you should be working at because clubs are always always kicking people out for grabbing their girls so Trust me, that's a thing you have to do. Somebody responded to that comment saying you smile and act like nothing happened. Absolutely not. You definitely do not act like nothing happened and you don't smile because that's just not okay. I'm just getting heated thinking about it because girl, I am with you. When people do that to me, I am cur like cussing them out. Like I am putting you in your place. That's not something you do. It's not okay. And they get kicked out right away because like that's definitely not a thing so don't ever think that because you're working at a club that you have to tolerate it or you have to be professional like no they're not being professional they're they're not allowed to touch you period so you tell security they get kicked out and that's just what it is i'm really getting so bad you know what i've heard people say anytime somebody's grabbed me i've heard people be like oh sorry i didn't know you work here you didn't know I work here. First of all, you see my uniform. Two, even if I didn't work here, what, you think it's okay to grab girls? Absolutely not. Let me move on to the next question because I'm getting mad just thinking about this stuff. Do bottle girls typically change their names? I know the dancers change their names, but is it common for bottle girls as well? Not necessarily. You don't change your names. I know what you mean. I know dancers usually have like a stage name for bottle girls. No, we don't have stage names. We don't change our names. We don't do any of that. It's just like our regular names because we're bottle girls like we're servers but you can obviously lie about your name if you want sometimes like customers will ask like your name and whatever and if you don't want them to know your name you can 100 percent lie about your name i've done that sometimes because i don't want them to find me on instagram i don't want them to like stalk me so i'll say another name like i won't say my name's carla but not necessarily like you don't officially change your name kind of thing what's the oldest bottle girl you've seen in the club i'm 29 and want to start i've answered this before there's no official like cutoff age to work at the club you just want to make sure obviously you look good like you know you're still able to work and stuff but there's no official cutoff age at all so no age what is the difference between working in a strip club and working in a nightclub so i'm actually going to do a video dedicated to this because the nightclub that i work at does have dancers in it so there's definitely a difference and i am going to get into it so there's like a lot to talk about but obviously for the most part like the strip club has dancers nightclubs don't have dancers but of course you can have one that have both of them together so i will answer that a little bit more in depth because i feel like i need to do a whole video about that are you required to promote the club on social media as a bottle girl is it mandatory i want to get a job at a strip club but i don't want people to know i work in a strip club girl there's nothing wrong with working at a strip club bottle girl stripper strip club absolutely nothing wrong make your money be proud but do you have to promote the club it is I don't know what I don't know how to say this it's more of like a rule of thumb that you should always be promoting your club I wouldn't say it's like mandatory but there are some clubs that make it mandatory like I've had some clubs that if you don't promote your club you're not getting scheduled like you're not getting shifts if you don't book tables you're not getting shifts so some clubs are very like strict on it but for the most part it's not mandatory but it's something that's expected so i guess you can kind of say it's mandatory because it's expected you should always be promoting your club if you're a bottle girl you want to make sure you're promoting you want to make sure you're booking tables you want to make sure you're bringing in guest lists so yes promote the club um i got another question about promoting the club like are bottle girls required to promote the club on social media like your personal instagram page isn't mandatory so same thing that i just answered yes on your personal instagram page yes you should be doing it on your personal instagram page because you want people to you know know you're working at the club you don't want to promote it on like your lash business page you know what i mean so yes always on your personal page 
what would be a good outfit for the interview? I've answered this question before. This is how I know you're not watching all the videos. So definitely watch all the videos because I do answer these questions. But what I had said is you want to make sure you're wearing all black. I feel like all black is usually like the thing that you wear to the club for interviews. All black and I would recommend either like leggings, either a skirt, like a cute top. You don't want to be too like you know close off too like dressed up like you're going to a business interview but at the same time you don't want to be too scandalous so i always always recommend my girls wear like leggings a bodysuit bodysuit skirt kind of thing and always wear heels don't come in there with sneakers or anything where can i learn more about the difference in alcohol like when you said stuff about hennessy and gray goose and smirnoff okay so i did mention alcohol in a video before so what i mean by this is i don't mean like you have to study the alcohol like where it comes from where it derives from <laughs> like no girl i don't mean you have to like study it but you need to know your alcohol in the sense that if somebody asks you like what kind of vodka bottles do you sell at the club you want to know what's vodka and like what's rum you want to know the difference between your bottles so with vodka like ciroc um ciroc gray goose smirnoff those are all vodka bottles so you want to be able to know what type of bottles you sell at the club. So how you can learn is obviously take a look at your menu and look at what your club sells. And just over time, you just learn, you know, like I've been doing this for so long. So I know the difference between my alcohol. I know what everything is kind of thing. So you'll definitely learn over time. But take a look at your menu. And yeah, it's not that serious. Like nobody really questions too much about it. They'll just ask like what type of alcohol you sell. And of course, sometimes you'll get people that ask like this weekend, for example, I was when I was working, somebody was asking me like, oh, like what type of tequila would you sell? Like I like vodka, but like I want to try tequila. So they'll be like, what kind would you recommend? And because I know the difference, like, you know, from alcohol, like I've tasted them and whatever, I can kind of recommend things like that. So it just honestly comes with practice. What is a smart serve or whatever you said? Okay, so I said smart serve. Smart serve is a certification that you need in Canada to serve liquor. So it's like a license that you always, always need if you're working at a bar, at a restaurant, at a nightclub. Like you need to have it if you're working in Canada. In the States, um, I think it's different. I, I know that in different states, you need different certifications, different licenses, but it's not necessarily called a smart serve, but in Canada, that's what it's called. Do bottle girls tip pool? And if they do, do they split person's tip? tips given to them by a customer um no you don't have to share your tips you don't have to pull nothing like that your section is your section so the gratuity is yours the tips are yours you don't have to share your tips i think some clubs have done that in the past like long time ago where they make you do that but now they don't your section is your section your money is your money but if you choose to pool and you want to pool with somebody else then that's totally up to you it's your section it's your call i've done that before at my last club one of the bottle girls, I ended up training her. And when she got hired, I ended up training her and me and her became friends. So because we had such a close relationship, we always pooled and we always shared our sections together. So we always split the money, but that was our decision. It wasn't the manager's decision. And again, that was my decision. Like that was my call. So, okay. This last question says, do you ever think about quitting the club? It seems like the money is great. I would never want to leave girl you answer the question yourself no I never want to leave I feel like the money is great I've been doing this for so long like when I tell you guys I am an OG bottle girl I am an OG bottle girl I've been doing this for years I've been working at so many clubs and I'm still so young so it's not like I need to quit so no I have no reason to quit I feel like I'm really good at managing my day job and my night job together luckily I'm able to create my own schedules so no problem with it. I don't see myself leaving anytime soon. I love I love what I do. Money's great. It's fun. I'm good at what I do. And yeah, I don't, I don't think so. I think the only reason when I would actually leave the club is if I had a baby, if I was pregnant, then I would obviously have to leave the club. But right now, nope, still being a bottle girl. All right, so that is the end of my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, guys, please comment it down below. If you guys have any questions about being a bottle girl, bottle service, just comment it down below. I always answer and I will definitely answer it in the next video. I want to keep doing these videos, answering your guys' questions. So please, please comment it down below. Don't DM me questions or email me questions because I've actually been getting so many people DMing me or emailing my business email and I'm just like, no, like I can't, I can't answer it on there. So please, please, Comment it down below. I promise you I will answer it in the next video. But I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.